Okay, so we're spraying Benjamin Moore Advance in this video. Now, Benjamin Moore Advance, um, it's a great paint. However, it's a little bit on the tougher side to spray because you're going to be spraying it uh, without any kind of thinning agents in it. Now, it is a waterborne alkalid paint. It has water additives, but it's not technically water-based, which is why you can't use water to thin it. Um, and that's just something that I've learned with practicing with it. So I did test out um, thinning it with water, just like it would do with some of my normal Sherwin-Williams paints that I use. And I actually got little um, micro bubbles in the finish. So it just didn't turn out very well. So um, after some modification, I figured out that we can spray this with the 2.0 nozzle, unthin, okay, right out of the can. However, you're gonna see, you're gonna move a lot slower than what you normally would um, to get the same amount of coverage, okay? And I've got the gun um, air pressure close to 25 on this. So I'm just kind of moving and I'm trying to get in and get these legs. They're kind of long and, and skinny. Moving this slow will definitely test your um, spraying muscles too, by the way. It's a good workout for them.
Now I'm just doing the little trim pieces on the back because I'm gonna put a cute little paper on the back of this. So the recoat time on this paint is 16 hours. Um, and I will tell you, it does dry really, really nice. Now this, this is a semi-gloss sheen. Um, it does come in obviously different sheens. Um, you know, I've been really impressed with it. Once I've gotten this dialed in um, with spraying it without water and getting the right kind of setup, uh, and a lot of people love to use this paint on cabinets. It's super durable because again, it is, um, it dries like an oil. So it dries super hard. And this can be rolled too. So this paint can be brushed, rolled or sprayed. So it's kind of like a triple threat, you know. I'm still fighting to get all the spots on those little legs. Okay, there we go, that's the first coat. And again, this must dry for 16 hours before a recoat. And it does have to be lightly sanded. So here I am prepping for our second coat with just a quick uh, sand with a 220 sanding sponge. Nothing major, just, just a nice quick break that surface type sand. This is also a good opportunity if you do have any rough patches um, from spraying, you go ahead and you sand those out now. Okay, you want to go ahead and wipe it down. Okay, we're just adjusting the air pressure. You can hear I've just adjusted it up.
Okay, now at this point, I don't know if you can hear it on your end, but my nozzle is popping off. Now that happens, I, I could have just edited this out, but I wanted to make sure to, um, to talk to you guys about the fact that when your nozzles get, um, after you've used them so many times, they tend to want to like pop off, okay? So uh, what I did there is I stopped what I was doing, I went and I got a new 2.0 nozzle and threw that one away. I don't know how many uses I had gotten out of it, but I'm sure it was several. Um, but when they're popping off, you're, it, you're not gonna get the same kind of air coming out. So you wanna make sure that you change out your nozzle if that happens. Now I'm not turning it again for the second coat because I don't want to stir up any dust underneath by moving the cart. So always on my last coat, I leave it stationary. Now, yes, I'm moving around on a cart. So, you know, there's going to be some dust stirred up from that, but we try to keep our booth really, really clean. Um, we sweep it out every evening or sometimes even in between, depending on what we're spraying. Also wanted to uh, make sure that I told you that after I spray the, this coat and before I, after I sprayed the last coat, I took my little Harbor Freight tool and I opened up that door so that um, I broke the seal on the hardware, the, the little hinges there, so it didn't dry shut. So I actually propped the door open and let it dry that way. Okay, I'm going to give it two coats here on the top. Now this paint does self-level really beautifully, so um, that's why I'm going to go ahead and, and give the top an extra coat. All right, beautiful. I love this color. Um, this is going to be a great little piece.